Hey there, welcome to the fourth week. Yeah, so we've been looking at huge topics like probability, sets, paper one and paper two. Now, in this fourth week, we have to end on a high note. This topic that we're going to look at is going to lead us into the axis of symmetry, which we're going to look at the first week of March. So you have to get this. Make sure you get this. The axis of symmetry is the new syllabus topic. Okay, I've talked a lot. Let's look at quadratic factorization. Come with me. So quadratic factorization is very important. Now we have to look at what does the quadratic expression look like. We have to know that this is a quadratic expression. So look at this. Quadratic expression looks like this. You have ax squared plus bx plus c. This simply means that the one, the number that is close to the x squared is known as your a. And then the number that has the x is known as your what? Your b. And just a number is known as your c. You get what I'm saying? You're going to get this. You're going to get this. Let's look at our first example. Factorize x squared plus 5x plus 6. We have this. this is a quadratic expression. They want you to factorize. So to factorize a quadratic uh, expression, you need to find three variables. And this is the product, the sum, and the factor. Very important. We have to find the what? The product, sum, and the factor. How do we find the product? You multiply your A times your C. What's your sum? It's your B. Factors will get to that. So A, this is your A. What is here? There's one here. There's one. We said the, the one close to your X squared is your A. Then what's your C? Six. So one times six is six. And then what's your B? Your B is five. Your B is 5. So now, we go to our factors. The factors here. Factors, what does it mean? Factors are numbers that can go into a number. So, you find the factors of the product. Write this down in your book. You find the factors of the what? The product. So, what are the numbers that can go into 6? We have 1, we have 2, we have 3, we have 6. Cool? Now, once you have this, the key now question is, I want you to pay attention here. What two numbers, if you add them or subtract them, they will give you the B. If you multiply them, they must give you the product. So the two numbers that you choose is either you're going to add or you subtract, they must give you the 5. Then if you multiply them, it must give you the what? The 6. Between the, the, on these factors. So if I see, I have 2 and 3. 2 plus 3 will give us what? 5. 2 times 3, let me write this, so 2 plus 3, here is proof, let's call this proof. So 2 plus 3, 5. Then 2 times 3, 6. You add or subtract, they give you the product, the sum. You multiply them, they give you the product. So once you have this, you have your factors, this is what you do now. You have seen this B, you are going to replace it with your two factors. So you're going to have x squared plus, here you have 2, you're going to write your 2, but you see this x, you're just going to include it, 2x plus. You see this 3, you're going to write it 3. And you see this x you put, you just include the x, because check this, 2x plus 3x is 5x. Then you write your c here, 6. It's factorization. Factorization means you find what's common. What's common between these two is x. Then you have x. Then you see this plus. This 2x, you remove the x. What do you see? It's 2. Cool. You see this plus? It's Sherry records, as I like to call it. Just Sherry records. Comes down. And then what's common between 3x and 6? It's 3. So what is common you write outside the brackets? Uh, you have seen I'm writing outside the what? The brackets. And then I have my what? My x here. I have 3x. I remove 3. I have x. 3 positive 3 into positive 6. Positive 2. So you find what is common. Once you find that the, the variables in the brackets are the same, what you have found is correct. So you just pick 1. x plus 2. Then you see x plus 3. So if you find what's in the brackets is the same, you just pick 1. And you see what is outside the brackets, you group it. So I have my x, which is this, 
then plus three. Does it matter the arrangement if this started and this went? Doesn't matter as long as your answer is what? Correct. So my friend, what you have done, you have factorized. Cool? All right, awesome. Let's move on to example two. We have five examples. Factorize x squared plus 6x plus 9. Simple. You find your product, your sum, your factors. Your product is found by a times c. We have learned it's your b. So this is what? 1. If there was 2, you use 2 times 9. Here, we are looking at 1s. You know, don't say, no, we are just looking at my 1. No, if there's 2, you multiply with the 9. There's 3, just like that. Get the concept. There's an invisible 1 here. So 1 times 9 is 9. Here you have, uh, what, 6. You look at the factors for the product, the 9. What numbers can go into 9? You have 1, you have 3, you have 9. Awesome. Now we ask ourselves a question. What two numbers, if we add them, they must give us, add them or subtract, they must give us a 6. Or if, and when we multiply them, they must give us a 9. I'll use 3. So 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. So you can use the same variable. Uh, that, this is called proof. You can't just choose numbers without proof. So this is my proof. Cool. Once I've found my factors, you see this 6x, we throw it away. So I have, I'm going to have x squared plus 3, this 3. I just put x. If those y, those y, I'll put 3y. So you just follow those a, I put a. Yeah? Then I have 3x. Then I have plus 9. So what's common here is x. Then I have x. Then I have plus 3. This one, share records. What do I have here? What's common is 3. And then I have my x. Plus 3 into 9 is 3. Is what's in the brackets the same? Yes, you just pick one. So it's x plus 3. And you see what is outside? x plus 3. You are done. That's how you factorize. Let's move on to example 3. All right. We're now looking at example 3. You are getting the gist. You are getting the idea. I know you are my smart student. Look at this. Factorize x squared minus 6x plus 5. So, as usual, we find the product sum factor. So, what's the product here? We multiply. What is here? 1. So, 1 times 5 is 5. What's the sum? Negative 6. By now, you know, we can't be writing A times C. Now, we are advanced. Factors of 5 are 1 and 5. Here's a tricky thing now. We have a negative, and most of... Most students get confused with the negative. So what do you do with the negative? You have to look at your two factors. Are we going to add or subtract them for us, for them to give us a negative 6? And how, what do we do for them to give us a positive 5? This is the foundation for maths, the fundamentals, that video, you need to watch it. This is where it comes into play. So here we are going to have negative 1. So proof, we call this proof. Negative 1 minus 5. We know that same signs we are going to add. And why have I used the negative? There's a negative 6 here. So negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6. Okay, we have subtracted. Let's look at multiplying. And we multiply the same things. So negative 1 times negative 5. Negative 1 times negative 5. You see there's a negative 1. This is a negative 1. Times, we're trying to find the product. Minus this one. This gives us 5. Awesome. So I have proved. What do I do? I just replace. Say x squared. This 6x goes. I have negative x. This negative x stands for negative 1x. But in maths, you don't put negative 1x. Because where there's x, there's, there's an invisible 1. Coefficient, they call it. And then you have minus 5x. Don't forget the signs here. If you are poor with signs, this topic will give you help. So make sure you watch the fundamentals to mathematics video. Then you have plus 5. You just follow it, plus 5. What's common here is x. Then you have x. 
x in 2x is negative 1. You see this negative goes down, it shellerecas. This sign has to shellereca. Then what is here? What is common? 5. You have 5x, you remove 5, you have what? x. Negative 5 into positive 5, negative 1. Or sum. Is what's in the brackets the same? Cool, we just pick 1. x minus 1 x minus 5. We are done. Very easy. Once you get the fundamentals of math and with science, this topic will be easy for you. Alright. Let's look at our example. Four. What do we do here? Simple. Product, sum, factor. And here we have your favorite sign. They are all negatives. This must be interesting. So what's the product here? We have negative 6. What's the sum? Negative 1. You get it? 1 times negative 6, negative 6. Sum, negative 1. What are the factors of 6? You have 1, 2, 3, 6. Now, the question is, with these factors, what are the two numbers? If I pick them, they must give me a negative 1. If I multiply them, they must give me a positive 6. Look. I know that we always get the sign from the bigger number. So if I choose, let's say, proof. If I choose 2 and 3, because I always get the sign from the bigger number, between 2 and 3, which one is big? Is 3. So I'll make sure my 3 is a negative. Fundamentals. Always get the sign from the bigger number. So I've made my 3 a negative because that's where I'm going to get my sign. So let's see. 2 minus 3, negative 1. I've just given you a big open key right there. Then I have 2 times negative 3. What do I have? Negative 6. So once you know the fundamentals of maths, you know you get the sign from the bigger number. You are not going to struggle. Should I put the 2 the two a negative? I know, okay, this is a negative 1, meaning 3 has to be negative because you get the sign from the bigger number. All right. We have proof here, we're going to replace x squared plus, this is a positive, plus x. This is a what? Negative, minus 3x, minus 6. What's common? x. Now, x plus 2. What does this do? Shereka. What's common? 3. Now, x. You see this? Negative into negative, positive. What? 2. Are they the same? Yes. On a good side. So, on a good path. So, x plus 2 and x minus 3. Cool. I hope you are getting something. I hope you are, you are, you are getting an idea. Yeah? Alright. Let's look at our final example. We have this. So, we have to find the product, the sum, and the factor. So what's the product here? Excuse me. The product is negative 15. Sum is negative 2. What are the factors of 15? 1, 3, 5, 15. So if I choose 3 and 5, so 3 is the proof. 3 and 5. Because there's a negative, and I know I get the sign from the bigger number. I'll make a negative 5. So this will give us negative 2. 3 times negative 5, negative 15. Awesome. You see how easy it is once you have the fundamentals at the tips of your hands. So we replace. We have x squared minus, let's say plus this 3x minus 5x minus 15. We throw away the 2. We have our factors replaced here. What's common? X. Then I have X here plus 3. This one, share records. What's common? 5. X. Negative into negative. Positive. Because this negative 5 is dividing both into that and that. Very important. So here's what you can see. I have a negative 15 here. Negative 15. And what is common is negative 5. So negative will cancel with the negative. 5 into 15 is positive 3. That's what's happening 
invisible. There's an invisible calculation there. So you have x plus 3. You have x minus 5. Look at it. I want you to pause the video. I want you to do the same examples. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much for being a good student this month. It's very important for you to know the foundation, the fundamentals. Look at this topic. It's a huge topic. It will lead us into axis of symmetry. And it's boiling down to you knowing your what? The fundamentals. So I hope you practice and uh, you get ready for your test that you're having, the end of month test. And I look forward to seeing you in March. We begin registration Friday, the 26th, yeah, Feb. All right, awesome. Keep solving. I believe in you. Don't give up. Don't cry. Don't feel pity for yourself. Just solve. Yeah, bye-bye.